Anytime we win, I'm happy. So um, I thought it was a game of spurts. Well, there were times in the game where we played really, really good. There were other times where we fumbled around a little bit, defensively, offensively. We kind of lost our focus and our, and our intensity. Um, but overall, I'm happy with the effort. Um, we're starting to kind of get in a rhythm offensively. Um, it was difficult to play against Long Beach State because they played a lot of different types of defense. So you weren't sure if they were in man, you weren't sure if they were in a 3-2-2-3. Three, two, two, three. They played some junk defenses here and there. So it was, it was important for us to execute, to really get in triple threat, read the defense, see what they were giving us, and, and take advantage of it. So overall, I'm happy. Um, I'd like to play better, and I'd like for us to be more consistent. It looked like you uh, really emphasized pushing the ball uh, today. Your, your highest point total um, as, as coach at USC, 89 points. Uh, how important is it with having Brianna come off the, the bench and, and being able to do that for you? Well, I think it's huge. It, it's huge. When we push the ball, it just creates so many more offensive opportunities for us. And then, that, and then when we push it, we also don't have to worry about what half-court defense they're in because they're in transition defense. We already know. They have to match up to us. And so it gives us an advantage and puts the defense at a disadvantage. So it was great for, for Brianna to come in and give us that energy off the bench and really push the ball and, um, and allow some of our shooters to get their feet set, Desiree, Araya Crook. And so... Um, and it, it was great, it was great, um, but we also need, once we don't have that transition, we need to be able to get into half court, get into an offense and execute. And speaking of Dez, uh, she comes off the bench, gives you 14 points, she's uh, played a lot more minutes recently, what has she done to be able to earn that time after the beginning of the season being, uh, playing just a couple minutes? Well, I mean, defensively she has just gotten so much better, um, she's also gotten better as a passer, and then she's gotten into a rhythm, a game rhythm, before she actually starts launching three-point shots, which has helped her get into an offensive rhythm, get into a better offensive rhythm. So I'm really happy with, with where she where she is um, right now, and we're still looking for more from her, especially on the defensive end. And today she gets to steal uh, one of the first possessions when she comes in the game. Um, something you guys were able to do all game, I call uh, – how many turnovers did they have, I believe? 26. 26, I mean, and 20 probably in the first half. Uh, you know, what were you guys able to do uh, to call so many turnovers? Well, get in the passing lane and have active hands once we were in those passing lanes, and even on penetration. Um, I thought we gave up penetration a little too much, which is why we ended up going to the 2-3 zone. Um, but, you know, we were in the passing lane, we created turnovers, and that created op opportunities for us on the fast break. And looking ahead, uh, next game you got UCLA start the Pac-12 uh, season with the rivals. You know, yeah. What are you thinking about that game coming up? Well, thanks Pac-12 for that. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's tough. It's always tough to play UCLA. Um, they have such. They've been playing great over the last few years. And um, but for us, we we want to grow. We want to go out and we want to compete. We want to play hard. We want to demonstrate that we're not the same team as last year and so it's going to be um, an uphill battle and you know a big a huge challenge for us but I think we're up for that challenge. How do you feel about your team going into the conference play? I mean I think we have a lot to, we still have a lot to learn and, and we're still growing in a lot of different areas but um, we're not where we were and so we've made a lot of um, headway and um, and so I'm encouraged I, I think that the team is, is ready they're ready for Pac-12 play. Um, we, we preach effort we preach, you know, hard work, and they've demonstrated that in the last couple games. And so I'm looking forward to a, a strong Pac-12 year.